All right, my friends, we are going to take a look at some irregular shapes. So, as you can see here, you can partition any of these shapes into two rectangles. So I'm going to do the first one, and then we are going to take a look at a few more examples. When we calculate the area of a rectangle, area equals length times width. Just as a quick reminder. All right, so let's take a look at this shape. So this shape, we can clearly split it into two different rectangles. So this time, I'm going to split it down the middle like this. So I have one rectangle. I'm going to do this one in blue. And a second rectangle. I'm going to do this one in red. One, two. Right now, you should be copying this rectangle down on a piece of paper and splitting it just like I've split this. All right, so let's take a look at blue blue right here. So what two side lengths are important? Well, we have the length, so the length of this, which is also the same as the length of this. So what is the length of this? That's easy, it's just 5. So I'm going to circle it because 5 is important. 3 is not important, 3 is just this length right here, just this length. So that's not important, I'm crossing it out. Alright, so now what is the length of this side? The width. It's 2. It doesn't say down here, but this could also be 2. This could also be 2. So, I'm going to circle it because that's important. So, if area equals the length times width, what do I multiply? That's easy. 5 times 2. So, 5 times 2 equals 10. Easy peasy. Let's look at the red. Okay, so we know that we have a rectangle with a length right here and a width. So let's just start with a width. The width is pretty easy. Width is right here. How long is this side? Two. It's pretty clear. I'm going to make circle it. Now, is the length four, which is right here, or is it six, which is right here? Is it four for this rectangle or six? Well, just because the, that rectangle ends here, the length is actually four. 6 measures the entire length of this side, so we're going to cross that out. So the area is 4 times 2, and 4 times 2 equals 8. But we're not yet done. We know that the area of this is 10, and the area of this is 8. So 10 plus 8 equals 18. All right, let's take a look at a second example. This time, you're going to do it on your own. I'm going to partition this for you. So we have, take out a piece of paper, copy this down. We have a irregular rectangle. Remember that area equals length times width. That should be a times. Okay. And let's partition it like this. Okay, just so that um, for the sake of continuity, just partition it like this. Good luck. All right, we're back. So let's see if your total area matches my total area. So let's take a look at the top rectangle. I'm going to do this one in red. You can be tracing it in a different color if you want. Okay. So let's figure out the length and the width of this rectangle. Let's look at this side. What is the length of this side? Two. Easy as that. Okay. And now let's look at the length of this side or this side. Is the length 3 or is it 7? Is it 3 or is it 7? Well, it's not 7 because 7 is the length of the entire length. So it's not 7, it's actually 3. So the area is actually 2 times 3 equals 6. All right, let's look at our second example. I'm going to do this one in blue. Our second rectangle is right here on the bottom. All right, so let's figure out the side lengths. We know we need to find length and we need to find width. Let's figure out the width first. What is the width of this shape? Well, it's not 7 because 7 is the entire length. It must be 4. Now, let's look here. Is the length 8, which is here, or is it 6, which is here? Well, it has to be 8. The entire side length is this entire side. 
So it's 8, not 6. 6 is only part of that rectangle. So our equation must be 4 times 8 equals to 32. Now we are going to take the area 32 plus 6. 2 plus 6, 8. 3 plus nothing, 3. So the total area is 38. All right, my friends, let's take a look at this next example. So let's partition the shape like this. Okay. So go ahead and copy the um, entire shape onto your board or onto your piece of paper and solve for the total area. Good luck. All right, we're back. Let's start with a bigger rectangle. And this time I'm going to do an orange. So I know that I have a big rectangle right here. And I need to find the side lengths. So, let's find out this side length. Boom, right here. How long is this? Well, that's pretty easy. It's given to us. It's 5. Okay. So now we need to find the width. Is it this length, 6? This entire length, 6? Or is it this length, 3? Well, the rectangle ends here, so it can't be 6. It must be 3. So the equation is 5 times 3 equals 15. All right, next, let's do this one in purple. We have our second rectangle here. Okay. All right, so what is the length of this side, this side right here? Well, it's 3. That's pretty simple. It's given to us. And what's the length of this side? We know it's not 6 because 6 was the entire side. So it's 3 right here. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Let's add them up. 15 plus 9. 5 plus 9, 14, carry the 10. 110 plus 110, 2 tenths. So the total area is actually 24. Nice job. Next example, remember that you are copying this down on a piece of paper. So this can be labeled number 4. Okay? If you want to label it, number 4. Um, go ahead and split your shape like this and solve for the total area. Good luck. All right, we're back. So let's take a look at the area. So I'm going to do the top in green. We have one rectangle right here. So let's take a look at this length, OK? It's either 8 right here, which is the length of this, or 6, which is the length of this. Just stops right here. So what is the length of this rectangle? It's 8 not 6. 6 ends right here. That's not the length of the total rectangle. All right, let's look at this side, okay? Right here versus right here. Is the length of, or sorry, the width of the rectangle 3 or 7? Well, it's just 3. It stops right here. So let's multiply the two numbers we circled. 3 times 8 equals to 24. At this point, you should be checking your work. Is your top shape 3 times 8 equals 24, or did you do 6 times 7? All right, let's look at the bottom rectangle. We know these are the dimensions. Boom, boom. And now we've made it a little bit easier for ourselves. So what is the length of or width of this side? Well, it's just 2. It's given to us. And what is the width of this side? It's 4. That's pretty easy. So let's multiply those two circled numbers. 2 times 4 equals 8. Again, very, fairly simple. So the area of 24 plus 8. 4 plus 8, this is 12. Carry the 10. 2 tens plus 1 ten, that's just 3 tens. So the total area is 32. All right, get ready for our last example. So go ahead and copy this down once again. If you were to label this, this could be number five. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and split this rectangle like this. I'm going to do something a little bit different. And solve for the total area of this irregular rectangle. Get to work. All right, we're back. So let's take a look. Um, I'm going to start with the leftmost rectangle. We have this shape right here. I'm outlining in purple. So, let's figure out the side lengths. What's the length of this side? Well, it's pretty simple. It's given to us. It's 4. Circle it because it's important. 
And what is the length of this side? Is it 5, which ends here? Or is it 7, which ends here? Well, it's 5. 7 takes up all of this space, which is not where the rectangle ends. Remember when we first drew the rectangle, it looks like this. Okay. So let's multiply 4 times 5. Okay. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So 4 times 5 is 20. Last but not least, let's take a look at this long rectangle right here. So it, these are the dimensions. Let's start off easy. What is the length of this side? It's 2. It's given right there. It's described right there. And now, what is the length of this side? Is it 9? Or is it 5? Which stops and ends right here. It's 9. 5 only takes up this amount of space. So, 2 times 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 2 times 9 is 18. So let's add these up. 20 plus 18, 20 plus 18, 0 plus 8, 8, 2 tenths plus 1 ten, 3 tenths, so the total area you should have gotten is 38. Awesome job.